Hey everyone. This week one of my clients is having a mild panic attack. <laughs> um, a, a, a situation that we're all familiar with, I think. Um, and so the way that this has showed up was really interesting though. So this team is working on building the view of the Capital Works portfolio into the next calendar year and their, their new financial year. And um, what's really interesting for this team is that there seems to be this huge lack of, just lack of urgency, a whole bunch of apathy going on, um, a whole bunch of what what do we need to do, Not it's like no appetite for action. And a couple of individuals in this team who are relatively stressed by the fact that they don't feel prepared and organized for um, for the coming financial year and and doubly frustrated that other people in the team aren't feeling that same sense of urgency. And so we took some time to dig into that this week. And one of the questions that came up was, if they're not feeling the sense of urgency over the planning of the capital works portfolio, well, where are they feeling that urgency? Maybe if we understand where they're feeling that sense of urgency, that will give us some clues as to how we can demonstrate that solving the problems that we see are actually going to help them with those other problems that are going on in their area, or not. At least we'll build some empathy, right? We'll at least have some understanding of what's motivating our stakeholders at this point. And so this this um, this team had gone through and asked a few different people in different areas, well, where's the executive feeling this pain? Where are they feeling that sense of urgency? And what came back was really interesting. The team members were saying, it's something new every day. And I'm sure we've all found ourselves in this situation, right? This is this is a zero judgment situation. But it was really interesting that the team had come back and said, it's something new every day. From one week to the next, it's a different thing. There's a lack of focus. There's a lack of that strategic view. We're not we're not worried about what next year looks like as a whole because we're so busy fighting fires and we're so busy trying to close things out before the end of the year. Um, and to finish off all those things that we started, that actually we're too busy stuck in the here and now. We've lost perspective. And so what happened was this, this client's come up with a few strategies to deal with it. So first off, building in reflection time. So uh, ironically enough, feeling that lack of urgency was coming from this place of urgency in all these other areas because we're starting too much and we're not focusing on finishing. So strategy number one was reflection time. Let's get in a room and pause. Let's put the day-to-day -day aside for a moment and actually start to get into what are we trying to achieve? Let's go back to those core principles and then use those reflections to help drive where we focus our attention. Step two, the focusing on finish. So in an effort to try and get through a whole bunch of stuff before the end of the year, these teams are ending up taking on more work adding in all those little extras that people want before Christmas, we're simply starting more and more and more, and that's actually slowing us down because we're missing out on that opportunity to build flow, we're spreading ourselves too thin, we're finding ourselves counting progress based on how much we start, not on how much we finish. And then subsequently, a few weeks or a month later, finding ourselves in this position where we've got everything on our plate, it's all urgent. We're running from one thing to the next and nothing's getting done. So it also feels really, really slow. And that push and pull, it, that sensation of having your foot like a brick on the accelerator, but you're in neutral, so you're not going anywhere. Uh, and then the third strategy that we introduced was this concept of deep work. So this idea of actually taking time instead of setting our day with 100 different things on the go, Actually setting time once a week to spend two hours, three hours, up to five hours on one particular piece, one particular piece of work, one thing, and to go deep on that. Because there's this, there's, there's something magical and something else that happens when we focus on the one thing for an extended period of time. Now I tried this in my own self-practice a few weeks back and I thought, no problem, got this deep work, I can focus on one thing for five hours. What I learned about myself was that was not the case at all. I have that ability to be present for an hour, even a two hour meeting. What's really funny was that my internal clock, somewhere between the two to three hour mark, starts to fire off and I want to get distracted and I want to move on to the next thing. 
And so what we've introduced for some of the team is that where we can, actually bringing them together as a group and focusing on one thing for an extended period of time beyond the two-hour threshold. Now, that's incredibly impractical in a corporate environment in most cases. However, where we can build in those opportunities and when we can uh, work in those reflection times, it's a practice that we're introducing for the team so that they can experiment with it themselves, even as individuals to start with, even before we get the team together for deep work. So that was another strategy that the team introduced was around spending extended periods of time on one thing. So it's about finding these different ways to work on that focus on finish, whether it be the two hour workshop with the team to reflect and go, what are we actually trying to achieve here? What's really important? And then using that to drive our focus so that we we take on that subset of everything that's on our plate and actually just focus on finishing that first. Potentially pairing it with deep work sessions where we're able to focus for an extended period on one thing and we're really starting to sequence rather than multitask. So that's what I wanted to share this week. Uh, minor crises, very familiar to all of us, and a few different strategies for how this particular team is dealing with it. And I found it particularly interesting that that flip between, uh, you know, on the surface, no lack of urgency, stagnation, not a lot of action. And then when you actually dig deeper, there's a whole bunch of action, but it's in all these different areas and it's not focused. That energy is really fragmented and scattered. And so how do we start to bring that back? So as we head into the holidays, <laughs> um, I hope you can find some, some useful tools in that. If you'd like any more resources on deep work, I'll actually drop a link to um, a, a book and some, and some podcasts that I've been listening to on the subject. And I hope wherever you are in the world today, you're having an awesome, awesome day. I will see you again very soon.